What's going on everyone? Brian from Drywall Nation. I'm here with Roberto from Baglioni Drywall. We're on one of his custom job sites by Eterna Homes. Recently Rob reached out to us inquiring about Trimtex butt board. So today we're going to be working with his crew and showing them some of the benefits of using butt board. Let's go take a look. So you guys, uh, you guys have never used butt board before, right? This is the product here. So it's a V-groove piece of OSB. So the middle is thinner than your edges. So instead of landing your sheet of drywall on a stud like you typically would, you cut your sheet back and you let your joint float in between the cavity. So for example, behind us here, a full 12 foot sheet, normally you'd have to cut it short on a stud. In this instance, when you're using butt board, you let it float and then you piece your butt board behind, you screw the front, and then when your next piece comes on, what that does is it, it recesses your butt joint. So you save on drywall waste because you don't have to cut your sheet short to land on a stud. You also don't have to stagger your butt joints. You still can if you, if you prefer to stagger them, but because you have a floating joint now, it's structurally superior. Like here, your drywall is fastened to that floor joist. If there's any, if there's any movement, if there's any shifting or anything like that, it's more likely to crack. You're also, you're splitting two ends of a sheet on an inch and a half framing member. So oftentimes if your framing's not straight, or your outside wall is crooked, you, you know, you, you, have, you, have, you, have, you have to toenail the edge of your drywall, right? You can see it, you can see it here, you know? So what happens when you screw so close to the edge of the drywall, you oftentimes fracture the edge of the drywall. And then if there's any movement at all, that's how you end up getting cracked butt joints. So with butt board, you have a lot more to screw to. You don't have to screw so close to the edge. You can keep your screws further back. It pulls your joint in. It's stronger because it's structurally, it's, it's floating, so it's structurally superior. It's not gonna be affected by any movement, truss uplift or anything like that because it's a floating joint. So that's some of the benefits. So let's go ahead and hang some drywall. So there's different ways like you, we could do this, right? The nice thing about butt board is you have the flexibility now because you wanna to try to save on drywall waste, right? So say, say we measure from left to right and you see tw 12 feet, is an inch past the stud. Uh -huh. So you would have to cut it back to about midway. So say 134. But what you could also do is you could measure from this side and 12 feet now, we'd only be cutting, we'd only be cutting off a few inches. Mm -hmm. So instead of cutting off like a foot and a half, we could cut off six inches and we could go 138. Okay. So you save that extra little bit of, of drywall. So you, you could decide which side you want to you wanna go from. I'll, uh, actually, let's hold, hold that again there. Let's see where, so 10 feet. So we could do two tens yeah. without doing any cuts, oh. right? Like we start, we start there, we see 10 feet gets us pretty close to the center of the stud. We throw up two full tens, put your butt board in, and you didn't have to take any measurements or cut any drywall, okay. right? So now he, he just took a measurement for that sheet. Now we could, we know our next sheet is already 10 feet, yeah. right? So now we can install the bottom sheet when he's going to do that next one. But uh, we're gonna have to rip the height, right? We're less than eight feet here. Okay. 
So Alex, no, so what are you looking for, a saw? Yeah. So here, so you wanna make sure you stay above the plate, right? You don't wanna drop, you don't wanna drop it below the plate. So you wanna stay above, mark it like that. Good done. There you go. Okay. Whoa. So we installed two full sheets without having any cuts, right? So a lot faster than having to measure exactly within an eighth, cutting your sheet back, measuring your next sheet, and then, you know, instead of having four different measurements, because we're staggering your sheets, we Only just went two. up, yeah, two, two full tens, and then both your next pieces are the same exact cuts, right? So, a lot faster. So, you, you don't want to screw your two outer studs just yet, because if you screw this, then the drywall is not going to have enough oh, flexibility okay. to suck in. No, that's okay. You can screw the bottom, but you don't want to screw the, the top because you want to you want to be able to screw your butt board, and you want it to suck in. So I mean, the t your, your top and bottom is fine, but you don't want to screw the whole the whole thing. So now you can screw your you can screw off the butt board, and then after that's done, you screw off your two your two studs. Now, if we put a straight edge on there, you can see the gap that's there, right? Oh, yeah. It's not much. It's not much, but it's it's enough that when your tape goes on, and after it's coated, you don't have you don't have a hump. So oh, beauty. And if you were to put more screws, it would suck it in even more. Oh. So look at this butt joint, for example. So this a traditional traditional butt joint that you guys did before I got here, um, where you split both ends of the sheet. So look at this. So there's already a hump before the tape is even applied. And keep in mind too, you're gonna save on mud. Because instead of having a butt joint four feet wide, yes, you, only you can finish it with, with a 12 inch box, right? Don't have to, you're saving on time uh, and money in materials. I didn't believe it until I seen Brad job. Yeah. I said, wow. Yeah, beautiful. you can see the difference right away. Your, your, your butt joint is one third the yes. size. So Roberto, now that we've installed a few pieces of the butt board, what do you, what do you think? I think it's a, good product and I'm gonna give it a shot. Right on, glad to hear it. Thanks for your time Rob, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.